Hi guys, welcome back to Guru Beauty. I'm Jodie and I can't tell you for how long many of you lovely viewers have been asking me for a perfume collection video. I've got a lot of perfumes, so what I thought the best thing to do would be to give you my top 10 fragrances from my perfume collection. I'm going to work my way up to number one, my very favorite fragrance. I am typically a floral, spicy, oriental type fan. I'm not really into fresh, green, aqua, citrus type scents. And you'll see that in my collection. I like warm scents. I like sophisticated scents. I do like scents that have dimension. So without any further ado, I'll start with my first. This is probably my newest perfume to the market that I have. And this one is from Roberto Cavalli. This one I have repurchased and it's a lovely scent. It's got very sort of loud in your face packaging. This is a spicier warmer number i guess it's definitely got floral to it but a spicy warm comforting amber type scent i think that this one is definitely better for fall and winter and as we head into fall here in australia i'll be wearing more of this one and would definitely not take long to finish off that scent really enjoy that one from roberto cavalli I also enjoy this one. It's a tried but true favorite from Estee Lauder. I find that the beautiful perfume here just smells so different from one person to another. On some people it can smell like a classic old lipstick type scent, but I like the way that this one smells on me. I haven't worn this one in a while, but I think that it can be worn all the year round. I first got into beautiful when Paulina Poritzkova was in their beautiful bridal campaign. I love it. It's a classic. It's beautiful. It's definitely a really nice floral perfume. I also really enjoy this one from Donna Karan. It's Cashmere Mist. And I think I may have gotten another one online since my first purchase. This one is a powdery floral. A lovely scent. Maybe because of the name, because it's got cashmere in it. I do think of this as more of a wintry autumn type smell. It's a warm, comforting floral type smell. I love it. It's a beautiful scent and there's many different companies out there that make a rose perfume. This would be my favorite of the lot. It's the Classic Joy by Jean Poteau and I've been using this one for years. My mum used to wear this in the 70s when I was a very young child as a baby and toddler so probably that's why I love it so much. It's a beautiful rose scent. It's very sophisticated. I think that this is great for all year round, though you could wear it spring, summer, autumn. It's gorgeous. Joy was relaunched back into the Australian market sometime in the last year. A lot of rose petals go into each bottle of this. It's a beautiful scent, definitely for those of you who are rose lovers. This was a fairly recent purchase for me. In the last two years I would say and your perfumes really are supposed to have a shelf life of 12 months. I go beyond that. You are going to sacrifice quality but I would recommend that you keep them in a cool dark place as well to help longevity and the glass bottles while they're beautiful I wouldn't put them near a window. Light going through the bottle will definitely degrade the smell and the quality of the product. So I keep mine in a cool dark dry place and I think that that helps them last longer. This one is from Versace and it is the Crystal Noir scent. I love the smell of this one. It is a sort of, I don't know, what do I smell? Maybe violets? Another powdery type floral scent. <laughs> by powdery it's not a bad thing by the way. It's just more of like a warm comforting quality to the floral rather than a fresh crisp citrusy floral if you know what I mean. This is lovely. I don't know what's in it, but I smell like a kind of musky violet type scent. That's really lovely. I love it. Moving on to my top five now. This one sadly is just not available on the Australian market. I first smelt it over 10 years ago from someone who had spent quite a bit of time living in Italy. I think she might have bought it in Europe. It's a gorgeous scent and you may be able to find it online still, maybe if you're lucky, but I've never seen it in store in Australia. It's from Giorgio Armani and it's their scent Geo. Now Giorgio Armani did launch their Aqua di Geo to the Australian market, but this one is a yellow liquid with a gold lid. It's a beautiful floral. It's got a gorgeous strong scent of sort of vanilla coming through, some other flower. It's beautiful. When you first smell it, 
it's slightly different to the scent that lingers when you walk through. I don't have anything like this perfume. I don't know anything that smells anything remotely like it. I love it. If you can find it somewhere, I would definitely recommend that you smell it. I'm going to so miss this when this is gone. If you know where I can get it, let me know and I will buy a bottle. Number four, this one is from Chanel. I love Chanel scents. They are among my favorites, as you can see. This one is a very sophisticated scent. I feel like a powerful, sophisticated lady when I wear this one. It's Coco from Chanel and it's a beautiful, spicy floral. I just think of it as a sophisticated floral with spicy notes and I just feel powerful when I wear it. I love this perfume. It's beautiful, powerful, sophisticated, gorgeous. My third favorite perfume is also from Chanel. This is a repurchase for me. It is the Chanel Allure scent. I adore this scent. It is beautiful. Like Coco, it's a sophisticated dimensional floral but has spicy notes to it. It's just gorgeous. Again, I think of this as a more nighttime scent than a daytime scent. And again, I just feel bolstered when I put this on. I feel like I can conquer the world and do anything and smell good doing it. I just, I love Allure from Chanel. Definitely go and check that one out. The next two are my top favorites and they are fairly recent discoveries. This is the runner up and I discovered this one in the last year, I would say. It's from Tom Ford and it is his Violet Blonde scent. I adore it. The scent of it is again like nothing I have ever smelt. It's a beautiful floral that's got dimension and spice and something interesting. It's warm and comforting, great for winter, nighttime, autumn. I love this. I don't feel like it lasts all day, which is unfortunate for an expensive perfume from someone like Tom Ford, but the scent when I spray it is gorgeous. It's definitely worth reapplying. I love it. It is my pick of his whole range of scents and, you know, Tom Ford. They do a lot of scents. We'll definitely go and check that one out. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you will know, you've seen it in multiple favorites videos, you'll know that this one is my favorite. This one is from Guerlain Insolence. This is just gorgeous. Not often that I'll spray a tester, fall head over heels for a fragrance and have to rush out and buy the full size. This was the exception. I sprayed it, I smelt it all day, I could not get enough of it, and I bought the full size as soon as I possibly could. Oh, it's gorgeous. I probably get the most amount of compliments when I wear Galan Insolence versus any of these perfumes. It lasts all day. It's beautiful. I constantly get asked what I'm wearing when I wear this perfume. It's girly. It's complex yet young. Uh, I think that anyone, anyone of any age could wear this scent. I love that I never smell this anywhere on anyone else. For example, I have Dior Mademoiselle. I love the scent. When I first smelt it on someone, went out and bought it and I smell it everywhere. I smell it on everyone and I never want to wear that perfume anymore because I smell it everywhere and you want to smell like yourself, like the only person with the gorgeous scent. That's another thing that I love about Galan. It's just gorgeous. Definitely go and check that perfume out. It is my very favorite perfume in the whole wide world. Let me know what your favorites are. I would love to hear from you. Those of you who have been waiting a while for this video, I hope that you enjoyed it. You know, without smell vision or smell tube, it's uh, just me talking random flowers and showing you perfume bottles, but I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to go and check all of your favorites out, so let me know down below. Have a beautiful day. Don't forget how beautiful you are, and I'll see you again really soon. Bye.